Hello, Kampala. I'm Preeti Sinha, the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Capital Development Fund, UNCDF. And I am so pleased to be part of the Kampala Innovation Week. Let me start by thanking Startup Uganda for the chance to speak with all of you today and for our continuing partnership. I could not be more humbled by the opportunity to speak directly to the largest community of innovators in Uganda. While I'm not there in person, I know for a fact that I'm addressing the giants of today and tomorrow in the realm of the global innovation economy. When UNCDF launched its digital strategy, leaving no one behind in the digital era, we made the decision to do so in Kampala. And that was because we wanted to send two powerful messages. One, that our goal with this strategy was to empower millions of people in the world's frontier and pre-frontier markets to use digital services in their daily lives to improve their well-being and to become agents of the SDG achievement. The other message was that we were going to rely on impactful, innovative partners, partners like Startup Uganda, for example, to achieve this ambitious mission. But of course, within two years, we would all experience the global public health crisis of our lifetimes in the COVID-19 pandemic. And from that point on, innovation and digital transformation were not only goals or aspirations, they became the new rules of the road. Advancing inclusive digital economies on the ground would be essential to secure resilient economies that could withstand economic sho shocks while maintaining precious gains in the Sustainable Development Goals agenda. Not surprisingly, the innovation community has risen to the occasion and the innovative business models are emerging in the frontier and pre-frontier markets to counter the harsh challenges stemming from the pandemic, health, economic, and otherwise. And the enormity of these challenges unlocked a wave of innovation in significant part from the startups. Fortunately, many such startups are getting support through grants and challenge funds. And since I am addressing a collective of entrepreneurs, I know that you all understand the real complex complexity behind the funding challenge. Startups face the persistent challenge of not only being able to access appropriate early stage financing, as well as post-investment business support to help the startups further validate their business and models and to scale up their business models. While grants, among other sources of concessional finance, can provide critical lifelines of funding, they can only go so far in terms of fulfilling the capital needs of the startup market. And when startups are unable to achieve scale, they're also unable to really tap into their true development potential the capability to make their local economies more sustainable by advancing financial inclusion, financial health, and resilience. Ultimately, the solution for scale and sustainability lies in unlocking private finance, both local and foreign, by catalyzing impact investing, attracting venture capital, and providing access to global capital markets. This is precisely the challenge that UNCDF is positioned to solve along with you. Our approach to supporting inclusive digital economies is to ensure that digital services are doing more than merely supporting financial inclusion. We want digital services to actually improve lives and livelihoods of those living within the target markets. And that includes you, the entrepreneurs. For the innovation community in Uganda, we are working to build an environment that nurtures sustainable startups that can thrive and reach scale as proven in our work with Startup Uganda. Our support to Startup Uganda is just one example of how we are helping startups achieve visibility, access to markets, local and international, and the capacity needed to attract follow-on finance. Looking to the future, UNCDF will continue to provide innovative financial instruments, strategic investments, mechanisms, and financial advisory to help catalyze capital flows towards startup, particularly those involved in the SDGs. We will look to leverage our full suite of financing tools, grants, loans, guarantees, technical assistance, bonds, and blended finance to crowd in capital for the budding ventures. UNCDF will also use its programmatic work along with its relationships with national governments and partners like Startup Uganda 
to source investment opportunities and provide pre and post investment advisory support to improve bankability and business development. And we aim to create powerful demonstration effects that pave the way for additional follow in investments by larger capital providers, not only for individual startups, but to markets that have long been overlooked by the global financial architecture. This is all what you can expect from your partners in UNCDF now and into the future. And that is what I can promise you as its executive secretary. Let me close with a call to action to my fellow stakeholders, stakeholders in the public sector, the private sector and the development finance sector. I ask all of you, and for that matter, all of us to invest our time, our resources and our innovation capital into ideas that will advance our collective sustainability and resilience. Building an inclusive digital economy that leaves no one behind requires the efforts of practically everyone. And that includes all of you. So today, I not only ask that we partner to advance your prosperity, but also to, to advance the prosperity of those young entrepreneurs of the future who will surely look up to all of you. Thank you and have a wonderful Kampala Innovation Week.